All right, now we're in week 99 from my Never Stop Learning blog, where we're going to be going over a couple keyboard shortcuts for Photoshop CS6. As you see here on screen, I already have one listed for Control Shift Alt E, but before I get to that one, I want to go over a couple keyboard shortcuts for formatting your text. So I have this line of text here that's ready to be formatted, and over my layers panel, I have that layer selected. That way, Photoshop knows that's the specific layer that I want to make changes to. I'll start off by hitting the letter T. That accesses my type tool and it populates this top row right here, the options bar, with different options for my type tool. Let's say I wanted to make uh, a change to the font family that I'm using for this line of text. I just hit enter and I'm ready to make changes. Using the up or down arrow keys, I can cycle through all the different fonts that I have available on my system or if I already know the name of the font that I want to use, I can start typing that in. And once I hit enter, Photoshop accepts the change and makes it for me. I can also make changes to uh, the font size up in my options bar. And I could get that using only my keyboard by hitting enter and then tab one time. And now I'm ready to make some changes. Using my up or down arrow key alone, it'll make changes uh, to my font size in single point increments. If I add the shift key, it'll make changes in 10 point increments. If I already know what font size I want to use, I can go ahead and just type it in. If you notice, there hasn't been any changes on screen yet. What I, what I have to do to actually see the change is I have to hit enter and then Photoshop knows to make the change. Another way to work is going over to my layers panel and I double click on this T. Now I have all my text selected. And if I wanted to make the text bigger, I hit Control Shift greater than a couple times, and that'll make it bigger for me. Or I could, if I want to make it smaller, I can hit Control Shift less than, and that makes my text smaller for me. I can also make changes to the tracking right here by holding down Alt and using my right arrow key that separates the letters. If I hold down Alt and my left arrow key. That will bring the letters closer together for me. I could also make changes to the kerning by just navigating my cursor over to the specific letter sets that I want to affect. Hold down Alt and then the right arrow key will separate the letters for me. Or if I hold down Alt and the left arrow key, it will bring them back closer together for me. Once I have my type how I want it, I'll hit Control and then Enter and it makes a change there. Next we'll go over to this Control Shift Alt function. What this does is it grabs all your layers, makes copies of them, and squishes them into a single layer for you, and it places that layer above whatever layer you have selected. So let me show you how that works. I'll come to the top of the stack, and I'll hit Control Shift Alt E, and it made the change for me already. I hit the letter V, I'll click and drag, all those different layers are now squished into one layer but since it's a copy I still have access to the individual layers here if I want to make changes to them later. What's so awesome about this uh, keyboard shortcut is that the only way you could do this function is by using this keyboard shortcut. There's no other way you could do this function unless you know this keyboard shortcut. You'd have to do everything manually and it would take a really long time to do that all. Alright, so if you want to read more about this post, go ahead and click on the, uh, on the link that you'll find in the description for this video. If you want to read more posts like this, check out my Never Stop Learning blog. Easiest way to find that is go to SebastianBleak.com and on the top you're going to see a link that says artwork. Click on that and it'll take you right to it. Thanks and have a good one.